everybody's interested in food. Uh, they don't always exactly want to talk about it in the way that I did, which was to use it to go to the roots of economic and political malfunctioning. When my mom wrote Diet for a Small Planet, uh, came out in 1971, and what she ended up finding is that all of the experts at the time who were saying there was imminent famine, we couldn't possibly feed the world, that all of these experts actually were wrong. The truth is that, that hunger is not the result of scarcity of food, the scarcity of democracy. And if I could just understand something as basic as food, why aren't people able to eat? then maybe that would unlock the mysteries of the economic and political order that seemed so impenetrable. For her, food was a metaphor and a starting point for a much larger mission, which was that hunger, which is suffering and poverty in general, is caused not by scarcity, but by uh, the systems that we have from lack of real democracy in the world. Nobody can live without food. And the sad thing about uh, food is that it has also become a political weapon so that some regions will hold food when others are starving. And that, I think, is one of the major concerns that Francis has had. I think one of the powerful messages of my mother's work is this fundamental principle that food and access to good, healthy food is a, is a human right. Our role was to remove the obstacles in people's paths, not to go in and do for, but to allow people to develop the democratic structures of decision making that would allow them to feed themselves. I think the qualities that make her such a humanitarian is fundamentally her passion for, for life, her passion for making a difference, and, and I also think her fundamental belief in our own humanity. And that has been something that has really been a, a thread throughout her work. What we're all talking about here on one level is very, very serious, is the most important issues of life and death. Francis encompasses uh, many values, uh, but for me the greatest of them is the compassion. That compassion, not only for the earth, but also for humanity, is what distinguishes her from so many other people. I believe that her greatest achievement is the hope that she's inspired in everyday people, that there are simple things that they can do in their lives that can change the world. To want to see that nobody on this planet, no child on this planet goes to bed hungry. That is a beautiful value. And that's what, to me, is the greatest uh, value that I find in Francis.